Hey everyone, Nendo Kitty Chan here with a review for the Nendroid Hatsune Miku Harvest Moon version. Taking a striking look at her white, red, and gold themed box, it definitely gives you a New Year's type feel with all the oriental designs. It has a large, rounded, rather than square window on the front, and she is Nendroid number 539 and an exclusive from the Good Smile Company shop. Other than that, her box is fairly typical of other Nendroid boxes, with a small window on each side accompanied by pictures in the back showing off her main poses and props. And here's a shot of her fresh out of the box. And before we forget, the background piece is located on the back of the inside of the box. And first off, we have her instruction sheet, extra neck joint, and stamp piece. She comes with a serene expression in which her eyes are closed, as well as a bright, fun, and cute blushy face. Her base is larger than a normal Android base, much like Katori Atsuka's with an extra attachment for her sky-themed background. Also like the Katori Nendroid, she comes with a separate scarf piece as well. Her extra arm pieces include one with a mooncake, one with a flute, one holding a floral fan, and two left and right empty arm pieces. Finally taking a look at Harvest Miku herself wearing the cutest two-piece peach and beige colored kimono with an adorable bow in the middle. This outfit is said to be inspired by the outfits they wear in the Mid-Autumn Festival in China. The soft colors, curly twin tails, and flower accessories give Miku fans an elegant and unique new version of Miku to enjoy. Now having a look at her first pose, and my personal favorite, where she stands a bit blushy faced, looking like she's munching on a mooncake. Mooncakes are also traditional Chinese pastries, usually eaten during mid-autumn festival, in celebration or as an offering to the moon. Her next pose really brings out the serene nature of this nendroid, as she looks like she's calmly playing her flute against a moonlit background. Her final pose includes her with a detailed, rounded floral fan with a red tassel on the end to match her hair accessories. Though her scarf is a bit tricky to work with when posing, I don't see this as a flaw, being that it adds great detail to the figure without going overboard. Overall, I find this figure to be extremely well done in terms of quality and elegance. She poses perfect as a traditional symbol of the Mid-Autumn Festival in both her outfit, props, and background. I am so happy to have her along with my other Miku versions, and I find even better that she's based on folklore stories and festivals. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think of this version of Miku. Did you pre-order her as well? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I put out videos every week.